smartphones, computers, what are they made of? How about green technologies, solar power, wind power, and electric cars? They are all made of metals. New technologies have made our lives better. The demand for metal resources, including copper, is increasing as the population grows and as people move on to low carbon society. Stable supply of metal resources is a big issue here. Metal recycling is effective, of course, but we need metals to make devices to recycle metals. So we need to secure enough metals first, construct low carbon systems and recycling systems next, and then recycle metals to go on to sustainable society. So how can we secure enough metals? Where can we find metal resources? It is said that most of the metal deposits near surface are already mined out. Certainly there are more deposits deep underground or on the ocean floor, but they are hard to find. If the cost of searching for metal deposits increase, then the prices of metals would go up, which means the increase in prices of neat devices all around us. That would be a big problem. But what if we can estimate where the metal deposits are? We may reduce the cost of finding metal resources without damaging the environment. I'm studying the formation processes of metal deposits in Japan. Many deposits were formed more than a few million years ago. The Earth's surface environment has changed so much since then due to climate change and the movement of the continents. By finding out when the metal deposits were originally formed, I'm trying to estimate where the metal deposit could be now. In my master's thesis, I established an efficient analytical method for determining the ages of metal ore formation. This new method enables us a high resolution dating. Using this method, I'm studying the formation processes of as many metal deposits as I can. Geologically, the Japanese islands are located at the plate boundary, where the oceanic plates and the continental plates meet. Many metal deposits that were formed on the ancient seafloor are on the Japanese islands now. By studying many metal deposits in Japan, we might be able to find new resources at other plate boundaries in the world and also on the ocean floor. Together with new mining technologies that have less influence on the environment, my studies on metal deposits would contribute to the stable supply of metal resources in the world. Stable price of metals and technologies that utilize metals would make a society much better and earth-friendly.